Hey guys, we are at 1906 Linden Avenue and I wanted to show you our house. We uh, live in a hundred year old house and love architecture, love interior design. So I wanted to show you what a hundred year old house looks like in the Belmont neighborhood. And this is my wife, Marcy Anderson. Hi. It's really close. <laughs> Y'all come on in. So this is our foyer. Um, you know, because we live in a hundred year old house, there's always a project that I'm scheming on. So this mirror was in a hotel in downtown Nashville which is a pretty cool story. So they were doing a renovation and one of our friends got it and then I sold his house and he didn't want to lug it around anymore. <laughs> so we lugged it around to three or four houses. Yeah. And then it just happened to fit like perfect in this right here in our foyer. I think one thing that Josh and I really agree on is we kind of like the mix of old and new. So we yes. have the old house and some things are pretty modern, but like, you know, we also have a lot of fun going to estate sales and garage sales. And this piece we actually picked up um, at an estate sale. I feel like a lot of pieces in our house, like did she make it? Did we find it at a thrift store or did we buy it new? I love that piece of art. I feel like it, it sort of defines us. We like to think that we're fancy sometimes with our wine glass, but down below we've got on track pants. Yeah. We're LSU fans, so. Windows, amazing, especially yeah. this time of year. So you can't do It's good to just throw the Amazon boxes out the window. Do you hear that background music? Yeah. It drives Josh crazy because I keep it on all day and he's like, who are we playing the music for? But I, I like it when I come home and there's like some background music and it's not like, creepy old house, but it's a little bit of music in the background. Okay. All right. <laughs> I really want to show you this. Um, I think I'm the only person in my house that likes my creepy art wall. I think it freaks everybody else out, but um, Josh and I found this, this um, creepy sultan at a garage sale in Green Hills, and I think we paid, what, like five bucks or something for it. That's uh, Zora, Zoltan. Yeah, and Josh doesn't like it because he feels like the eyes are gonna move back and forth. They do, it looks like something off of that Tom Hanks movie. <laughs> That's it, yeah. that creepy art wall. This picture, um, Josh and I, when we traveled to Africa, I took that picture um, of this little boy in the, um, in the village and I just, I just love it. It makes me, I mean, it's right in between the two boys' rooms, so I just, I don't know, I just really like that picture. This is my favorite. Yeah. The snake lamp. lamp, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> so this is one of the kids' rooms. Yeah, so we just redid, this is Liam's room, it's our oldest son. Um, and Josh's one thing in this room was that he wanted to keep the original yellow tile. Yeah. So we kept that. Because it's awesome. And He's the Liam. only only one in the house that has a fireplace in his room. He likes his old toolboxes and his formaldehyde and you know normal stuff that a ten year old would like, he right? Doesn't really use formaldehyde. I, I, oh my god! So this is our eight year old's room. Liam had a fireplace, so we we kind of had to do something equally cool in here. So he got a he got a rock wall. <laughs> Uh, uh, side note, it was really funny one day when um, he decided to climb it after he took a bath and then he got stuck at the top. Oh yeah, naked. May or may not have been naked. <laughs> if I was picking one space that's my favorite space in the house, I'd say sitting on the front porch. Yeah, we do that a lot. The day that we closed on the property, the tenant called the police, Metro called Metro Police on us and I pulled out our HUD statement and I was like, I'm the owner, sorry that you're having to uh, come out here for such a ridiculous, and we told them that they could stay, but they just weren't happy about the situation, so they called the, the cops. Yeah, it was good so it was, it was good, it was nice, first day of home ownership. <laughs> yeah. If you guys are ever in Nashville and want to stop by the Anderson Group, we'd love to meet you and say hi. Uh, if you want to comment or have questions below, we respond to all of our comments. And uh, or if you need any kind of hotspots, restaurants, okay. things to do around town. 
Yeah, besides Broadway. Uh, give us a shout or let us know. If you like this video and you want to hear more about the Nashville real estate market, follow our channel, like us on Facebook, or check us out on Instagram. Sweet. <laughs> See ya.